This is a shot from the point special report. Welcome everybody to special report. This is a segment of episode 21 of Shot from the Point. Coming at you on the band from the heart of Europe. It's dirty, filthy, rotten, stinking New Jersey. This is the most badass <laughs> hockey podcast in all the known man's land. Thank you very much, everybody, for tuning into episode 21. I'm here with none other than legendary Jake, the legendary Devils fan, and uh, my comrade and point man. How are you today, Jake? Doing good. Don't don't knock New Jersey. Come on, Fuck New Jersey. <laughs> Come on, it's a it's a wonderful state. Yeah, sure, sure. I feel like getting mugged. Oh, come on. We, there's there's just bad ends, and then, you know, we, we got everything in this state. Yeah. Like drugs and we have a, hookers. Yeah, we have a beach. We have cities. We have woods. We, we have, have cities everything. and woods. <laughs> you know, fucking mountains and shit. It's dirty jerks. Dirty jerks yeah. to, to the end. Hey, Bears. listen. I, 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 I have to, uh, and before we get into news or everything, I have to update everybody on the, um, uh, I have to update everybody on what happened between uh, me and Ryan Lampert because it didn't end there. Strangely enough, when I uh, I took a part of the show and I put it, I uh, sent it to Lampert, and to my surprise and to my delight, he reposted it. And I think he was expecting kind of a, um, you know, a, his 10,000 Twitter fans to kind of like roast me and attack me. And initially, that's that, that is what happened. But it really, the whole thing didn't get a hell of a lot of hits. And uh, it it really turned out being pretty neutral, and I got a few uh, a tweets of uh, encouragement and what have you, um, nice. holding Lampert to task for uh, some of the lousy things that he was saying about uh, Gregory Campbell. Um, I like I was called a, a dumb jock friend of yours. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, it's funny, you know. I I accused him in the thing that like I I think uh, Dave told or um Dave Joe Joe told me. That, you know, what would he say of us? And if you hear it, he's like, well, I'd probably just say we're a bunch of dumb jocks and what have you. And lo and behold, in one of his tweets to me, he called me a dumb jock. Here's what I did, though. What I offered him is a debate. Now, he fired back and said, look, I'm not going to go all and have your friends just yell at me and what have you. Then I wrote him back and I said something to the effect of, look, we'll do it on your terms. I'll, I, hell, and you know what? Right now, he can see the questions ahead of time. As long as I'm allowed to follow up then I'm absolutely fine with that. I want him, and essentially the debate will be, I want you to defend your article. I want you to defend your article, and I want to be able to follow up. That's it. Jake won't be there. It'll just be me and you, and that's it. And you can defend some of the statements you make, which you essentially say that hockey's too dangerous a sport. Because I could be there. I can. I can, I can tone it down for him. No, no, no. I. I. I'm. You know. I'm just. I'm. Oh, I'm so just... he doesn't feel like he's being cornered. Yeah, and I, I think that's. Leg- I actually. I think that's legitimate. I. Um, yeah. I mean, we just go on and call him big asshole and what have you. But um, that's not. That's that's not my goal here, and that's that. I really. I really want him to defend that because what I think he said was lousy, and I find it absolutely hysterical that his next article was about transparency inside the. Uh, voting on the uh, the stupid awards the NHL does every year. And as one great Yahoo commenter said, a gra- he said, so Ryan Lampert wants objectivity with uh, something as subjective as an award show. He wants it, I guess, more transparent. He wants more objective in a sub- subjective event because he went in this big rant. So I want you to defend your article like you want to call out the guys who vote on the NHL awards. That's all I'm asking you. That's all I'm asking frankly, you. Frankly, I think uh, I think the, the whoever the people that won, uh, you know, I think justice was served. I think everybody that deserved their award, nobody was snubbed. You know. Well, that's that's another story altogether. But maybe, he wants maybe, transparency. Yeah, the, the he forward. wants these guys held to a standard. He wants them to be able to get criticized. He should offer the same thing. Now, that's what I just said. This is what Ryan Lampert just heard. You're listening to the most badass hockey podcast in all the no land. This is a shot for the point. Let me at you anytime you fucking want. 
This is the most badass motherfucking podcast in all the motherfucking land about the great sport of hockey. We only talk about fights here. We hate communists and Europeans. I have legendary Jake here on my right, all right here. He once killed two Puerto Ricans in a straight up night fight. That's what he did. <laughs> and I tell you something else. I tell you something else. I'd have Joe Corden here right now, but he's too busy keeping minorities off his fucking lawn. So fuck you. I also trail his mind Lambert to a straight up fist fight, but he was too much of a pussy to take me on, yo. But that's not what happens, is it? Well, I did kill a few Puerto Ricans. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just defending my home. <laughs> Jose, get off my lawn. Get off my lawn. No, and, see, that's... And, and, that's... I and I'm not keeping minorities off my lawn. I'm keeping the majority off my lawn. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's what he that, that's that's what he want that's what he hears. But I got a legitimate challenge is, and I you know what I challenge his character mostly. On I am just want to challenge his article, and if you got the guts, I will take a Skype call from you anytime, any place, anywhere. I will let you speak, and I will have, come up with questions. Hell, I'll send you the questions ahead of time. You I say any rules, show like that. and I tell you something else, Lambert. I found out something else about you. It's not unlike you to go on podcast. I found out something about you. You take down marks all the time. You take on straw men, though, real easy marks. You had a call-in show with a guy from Pittsburgh that claimed that Alexander Olovechkin was on uh, steroids, and you rightly went and challenged him. And what I found out is, I mean, it seemed like the right thing to do. I mean, that's a lousy thing to say Olovechkin's on steroids. But what this guy was saying, he was saying that, since Ovechkin's mother was, um, I don't know, uh, uh, she was an Olympian in the Soviet Union, that made Alex Ovechkin, I guess, prone to take steroids, and Lampert rightly took him down. But you know what? That's easy, Lampert. That's easy. You're dealing with me now. It's a whole different ball of wax. And I got yeah. legitimate criticisms for your personal hate. You show yourself every time you post. You're an elitist. And you know what? I'll tell you what. No curse words. I'll write the questions ahead of time. And I'll let you speak. And those are the rules. As long as I can make follow-up questions, that's it. I'm just going to let you talk. That's the rules. Right there. Fair enough, I Jake? Think, no, no, it sounds good. No, no, and your goon won't be here, a.k.a. me. No, it'll just be me. It'll be on, I'll yep, put on a special just, report. That's all, yep. Uh, yeah, and just for five minutes of your time. Well, he said me and my dumb jock friends didn't get the article. I think we got the article. I think you no, really I, got the I article. No, I got to you know, I mean, I'm not, I'm not educated. You know, I, I don't, I didn't go to college. You know, if you ever seen me uh, post a Facebook status, you, you'll see, you'll know that I didn't <laughs> go to college. I didn't either. Well, I went to, yeah, I sort of did. I <laughs> well, you went to the bride, became a quarterback. Well, I think scientist. that's half the problem. I, I think uh, an uncollege, uh, uh, people that are not college educated, uh, you making, know, him, making I, him I mean, look foolish. Know, Pointing out his hypocrisy, pointing out the weaknesses in his argument would be too much to handle. You know, but, like, he really just made it feel like that I was some type of Neanderthal that, like, after the show, I just went off and I beat my wife and eat raw meat, you know? <laughs> yeah. Medium well. But... And hate minorities. <laughs> yeah, I hate minorities and I hate the gays. Well, it's funny because, like, I noticed, like, he's, he's, he's super hyper race sensitive because uh, he was a. Uh, Accusing some of the Y commenters, uh, the Yahoo commenters, of being uh, racist. And he, I, he seems to be every conversation, every tweet is like he is above something, that he's funny, above, I, hovering I guy, above uh, everything, uh, both with his comments. So take me on, take yeah. me on. I'm an easy mark, just like the guy in Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, ha, let, let me see something right. How do I call you a pussy, and not, uh, I don't know, offend your self-imposed dogma of political correctness? How do I how do I do that? Can I call you a pussy? Can I call you a candy ass? Is that all right? <laughs> yeah. Is it, is, is it, what, what what can I do? Because I don't have that. Uh, I'm not inhibited yeah. like that. I don't I don't I don't worship anything. Yeah. I don't worship political correctness. Whether you know you do it or not, you probably do, because it makes you feel above. You're like a church lady. You're like mm -hmm. a church lady. That says, "Well, I hope you don't burn in hell for that." <laughs> Isn't that special? Isn't that special? That's who you are. 
-hmm. So come on, bitch. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I, did I offend your sense of, uh... Come on, bring it. Come on, you man. You set the rules. I'm a man of my word. I don't know. Yeah, I saw the picture. He looks like a straight-up hipster douchebag. Really? Where's the... I never saw a picture. I see it. I think it was a picture. I Googled him. I don't think there's a picture of him. I, don't, I, I wonder if he actually is not anything other than a pen name. I don't know. I saw his dog, too. Oh, I'm yeah. Sorry. I, I got a, I got a let, I, I got a letter from one of his um, from his crony followers. You know, you say he doesn't care about anything, but he has a dog. Uh, his dog well, is yeah, adorable. I, 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 let me let me guess, Ryan. The dog's the only one that cares or understands you or what have you, because everybody else is so stupid. I like right? his dog. I saw all the pictures of his dog. Does he have a pug? No, he has a beagle. I like beagles. I had a beagle. You had a beagle. Yeah. All right, let's get the fuck up. Your move, Ryan. This is your chance to show everybody how sophisticated you are and how stupid I am. Come on. Come on, buddy. You can do it.